Hello everyone, this is Revan from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 273. Indian smartphone industry might have its speed bumps on component supply crunch, but the resilient sector is poised to see 190 to 200 million shipments in 2022 with more than 5G devices weaving for consumers attention. Jio recently unveiled its cheapest prepaid recharge plan in India. The plan cost only rupees 1 and came with a bunch of lucrative offers. Sadly, the telco appears to have discontinued the rupees 1 plan now. Ola Electric S1 and S1 Pro electric scooters delivery has begun but a ton of complaints have already been registered. New owners have complained of financial discrepancies, lack of PDI and poor after sale service. Ola Electric S1 and S1 Pro are premium scooters and compete with the likes of Fathar 450X, Bajaj Chetak and TVS iQ. Again Realme came into a spotlight Realme XT smartphone catches fire. The image is posted by a Twitter user Sandeep Kundu shows the handset been completely burnt both back and front and Realme says that it has contacted the affected person and Realme is currently looking into this matter. Lava has announced wideband L1 support for its Agni 5G smartphone. This phone comes with a 6.78 inch full HD plus IPS punch hole display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Wideband L1 support will also be available on all new Agni devices for new users. This upgrade will enable HD content viewing and also support streaming of OTT content. A Reddit user has posted an unboxing video of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, showing some of its standout features. This video contains more details about the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition as a January launch of the device draws near. The slim box of the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition does not include the charger as per the video. There is no confirmation yet on the exact date in January for the launch as speculations swirl around the first two weeks in the new year. Notably, the CES 2022 event could be a perfect event for its unveiling. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is building up to really live up to its name. According to the sources, the Samsung will include 1TB of storage tire for its Galaxy S22 Ultra. Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge is set to launch in India on January 6. This smartphone will pack a MediaTek Dynasty 920 processor. It will be priced under rupees 30,000 in the country. Xiaomi has been fined for false advertisement in China. The brand advertised incorrect information about one of its smartphones. Xiaomi claims that it was human error and nothing more than that. Vivo V23 e India launch will happen in February. This handset will be priced between rupees 25000 and rupees 30000. The Vivo V23 e was originally launched in Thailand back in November. The Realme Narzo 50 is expected to launch in the coming weeks. This phone is a standard variant and it is expected to feature a MediaTek Helio G85 chipset. The Narzo 50 has just received the BIS Indonesian Telecom EEC and NBTC certifications. Realme 9i smartphone is expected to launch next month as a part of the Realme 9 series lineup. The device is now spotted on the Geekbench with the model number RMX3491. It scored around 382 points and 1,556 points in Geekbench single core test and the multi core test. Oppo Find X5 Pro design revealed through high resolution renders. The phone features a premium design with a symmetrical camera housing and a hole punch display. The Oppo Find X5 Pro is expected to be powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. Oppo A16 K India launch will happen in the first or second week of January 2022. This handset will be available in white and blue color options. The key specifications include a 6.52 inch display, MediaTek Helio G35 processor and a 4230 mAh battery with 10 watt fast charging support. WhatsApp is working on a new feature called the community feature. WhatsApp will reportedly roll out this feature with the 2.22.1.1 version iOS beta. After creating the community, users can create a group or link up to 10 existing WhatsApp groups together. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.